What's up, YouTube? I'd like to welcome you to my little slice of ethnobotanical heaven here. This is uh, my chacuna plant. It's growing very nicely. I'll be making some cuttings today. We'll see a little video on that and the uh, leaf cuttings. My mimosa hostilis. I love the green growth. Just the different shades of green. It's fucking it's very, very pretty. We have another mimosa hostilis here as well. And uh, behind that, we have our bee cappy vine. Um, these plants are in the shade for the most part. Um, you know, they get filtered sunlight. As you can imagine, we, you know, we, we try to recreate the, the tropical Amazon type of environment. Um, about the, uh, the chacruna, it's one of the easiest plants to propagate that I've ever, ever worked with. I mean, you literally, you slice the leaf in half. This was planted maybe a month ago. And, um, you know, you can use the top part of the leaf. It's literally just planted a half inch into some soil and kept wet for a few weeks. And, you know, you'll have nice root growth. <coughs> These are the other bottom half of the leaf. And uh, they're literally just, you know, a little bit of compost. And um, <coughs> you keep them moist, you know, keep them in the shade. You know, we keep them under some banana palms, as you can see. And basically, what we're going to be doing is we'll come over here. And we are going to pick some, uh, some ugly looking leaves. Just because, why not? Save the pretty ones for a uh, little bit of tea later on. When you pull these off, you want to make sure you get a little bit of that bark with you. See that? Because that, that's what's going to be... Uh, your roots are going to be sprouting from right in the node, right in here. So, make sure you get a little piece of that bark. It's literally this simple, guys. You are going to... You're going to cut the leaf in half. I like to cut it at an angle. You're going to take this guy, you're going to stick him right away in some moist soil. Like I said, this is a homemade compost, about a year old. And you can take the top half of the leaf as well, and uh, might as well utilize it. And go ahead and, and plant that in a little bit of soil. About a half inch down. And as I said, just uh, keep it moist. I mean, it's really that simple. And like, and this was these are about, I would say maybe a month, two, maybe two months old. And uh, as you can see, plenty of root growth. And you see here, see that. That little guy, that's going to be our for, first um, branch. That's going to grow out. That'll be the that'll be the new Trucuna plant. So it's really that simple. This is about a month old. We'll go ahead and make a little hole. Planter. Water her in well. It's really that simple guys um, you know I think a lot of people are intimidated or uh, maybe maybe don't have access to these plants and um, you know if you can get your hands on them you only need one plant and you can very easily and quickly make many 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 um, you know something you guys should look into uh, 
next video I make, I will be taking some cuttings from the the bee cappy plant, showing you guys how to propagate that. It's extremely simple as well. Um, it will also be germinating some mimosa hostilis seeds. So, until next time, safe traveling, and uh, have a good one.